Let's sit and meditate for a few minutes. Anampavana Sapaknam. Close your eyes and breathe comfortably. You can experiment for a bit to see what comfortable means right now. It's important that you keep up with the needs of the body. Because if you don't, it'll start sabotaging all your other good efforts. You want to be virtuous, you want to be generous, you want to be kind. And yet when the body is feeling frazzled, it's hard to do these things. So breathe in a way that helps strengthen your other virtues. This way you give the mind some pleasure in the present moment and give some strength. Because the mind needs looking after, it needs management. If you just let things go with the flow, and the, there are all kinds of flows in the world. Flows from outside, flows from inside. And they can push you anywhere. And a lot of the places they can push you are dangerous. I mean, rivers go over waterfalls, they go over rapids. They have whirlpools that pull you down. So you have to be careful. So you have to decide where you want to go and go straight there. You want to go to a place of true happiness. You want to go to a place of harmless happiness, something that's blameless. Okay, Start sorting things out inside your mind. Where you want to go, where, what, what's going to lead you to where you want to go and what's not. And then try to take as straight a course as you can. And one of the reasons why we meditate is to give us strength to do that. And our virtue and our generosity also give us strength. When you're generous, you realize that you're not a weight on other people, that you actually give something back to the world. And that is give back. I mean, we've received so much. And as for virtue, you want to make sure your actions don't harm anybody. Because when you sit down to meditate, if you can remember harmful actions, either you try to deny them or you just get wound up around them. And neither is helpful for strengthening the mind. So all these practices, virtue, generosity, meditation, are there for strengthening the mind, to keep you on course. And help you manage the mind as you're on course to make sure that everything arrives safely. And John Lee makes a comparison with being a, a mechanic. You've got a car that you're trying to drive in a certain direction, and you have to be able to look after the car. This is back in the days when cars weren't computerized, and you could actually fix your own car. But keep that in mind, that you've got to keep adjusting your mind, adjusting your breath, adjusting whatever else goes into making up your sense of where you want to go, and enables you to go there. So make sure that the springs in your car are okay, make sure that the steering wheel is okay, the engine is okay, and that way you get to where you want to go. The road is there, but it's getting your car down the road. That's what you're responsible for.